All right, so now Mike gets to go back to his office and enjoy his life, and we get to put on some headers. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the, the headers are terrible. This is true. So. I've graduated from E46 school. I don't have to do E46 headers anymore. It must be nice. No. Must be nice. I All just enrolled. All right, we're going to jump to that. All right, my excuse. What I'm going to tell you, we're skipping all the BS. We're getting right to the good stuff in this video. AKA, I'm not filming us installing anything. We're <laughs> literally like, you put headers in, you tighten some bolts, you can get everything. That's This is my fancy editor way of saying that I'm not going to do a time lapse or slow-mo or anything. We're just cutting right to the good stuff. We're giving the people what they want. All right, it's going smoother than you thought it was. Off to a good start, header one down. We just gotta tighten it down. <laughs> this is the worst footage. I saw this. There's no good angle. You just keep talking. I'm just gonna, There's no the viewer's angle. just gonna get screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I love you, but. Um, all right, e like I said, everything goes on easier than it does come off. So um, now I'm gonna put him to work and he's gonna start tightening it. Oh yeah, the busy work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look, at, look at this nice neck angle he's gotta rock in, with. Like, in, I'm know. gonna put him in like. Long neck, gonna be like this. Yeah, so you're gonna leave here like an 80 year old. Look at this, this is a. Uh, <laughs> One last look at my clean hands for the day. <laughs> Let's get to work. We look like a bunch of meth heads by the end of today. It sucks being tall. The lift is as tall as it can go right now. And I'm like, I'm gonna be like working like that. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I don't stand up though, because I, I get nervous. I'll hit like one of these studs on the body or something. Yeah. And I'll just literally want to scream. That Went great. I'm trying. Doing good work. We're doing it. All right. Those are some shiny boys. Oh, yeah. They look good. They're not gonna be shiny for long, but that's okay. Nope. But they're all the way up and in. They're not in. terrible. Way easier to put these in than taking out the actual yeah. OEM ones. Like 100%. we got tool clearance to all the nuts. I'm actually like, pretty surprised easy. how fast we got them. There. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, less than an hour basically. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. Now. Now onto this stuff right here. Yep. So we got a little bit of mismatch, not too much. Not so we're gonna go get the OEM mid pipe, take a look at that. We did cut it off, so we gotta do some cutting anyway. Yeah. So yeah, I've been spraying this thing with PV blasters, so <laughs> we're probably just gonna end up breaking this head off, jamming something in there and splitting these apart. Yeah. But that's nothing new there. Maybe worst case we can clamp it if we need to. I know we can't weld it together. I'm no. Sure. We should, we'll make it work. When in doubt. Yeah. It'll yeah, happen. Yeah. <laughs> this is seems like a garage. Exactly. All right, I talk a lot of shit as an M54 owner without a dipstick about how awesome it would be to have a dipstick, but we just had to put the dipstick back in this thing and oh my God, is it just like an absolute disaster? I think it was the worst part about the whole thing, to be honest. I think the dipstick was like, we're yeah, I would have rather done the headers. The header yeah. install went easier. Just like the where the dipstick mounts to the engine mount in this black hole, which is exactly what I was looking at, you just like can't get it. You have to like really like twist the shit out of it. Like I don't understand why they made it so difficult. It should just be like a straight line. It just like goes down and then you're done. Over engineering. Oh, Germans. Goddamn Germans. <laughs> so, all right, now it's, uh, we're onto the easy bit now. So just put the subframe back up and steering rack attached and- It's easy until oh, it's not. We're gonna have a car again. Yeah, I know we said, after taking out the headers, I was like, it's all downhill from here. Or yeah, it's all uphill it's from all here. Uphill from here and now it's, it's downhill. Yeah, now we're like, oh, this is sucking. Right. Oh, Model yeah. it, baby. Oh yeah. Red line. Only the best for the best. Only the best. Euro, baby. Oh, yeah. Because does it make a difference? No. No. Nope. <laughs> someone's got to sell different colored coolant. We like to think it makes a difference. Exactly. You know? Look at this. B-roll. Oh, yeah. oh, I just already spilled it. You, what, you're using a funnel. <laughs> How do you spill it with a funnel? I'm special. Don't. I got what? Oh, my God. Oh, just don't. We're, we're, you, you know. It'll be okay. You're good. Just hit the I'm, hole this I'm, time. I'm emptying the whole bottle. Yeah. It's not a big <laughs> It was impressive, but <laughs> that's what B-roll is for, right? Exactly. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh. oh, wow. All right. Who let this kid work on anything? Take that. <laughs> Take it. Quick. <laughs> oh, no, that goes. <laughs> We're just a We're mess. done. <laughs> We're done. Unbelievable. In case you've been wondering uh, why it took us three days, 
This is why. Oh yeah. There we are. Nice uh, oil coating. We're gonna make it. We're detailing the engine. Yeah, right we're now. detailing it. <laughs> so that was yeah. intentional. I just wanted the engine uh, cover to look nice and shiny. So that's that. Yeah, that was intentional. Uh, saw that 100%. coming. Definitely. You're distracting me. That's what it is. You're just camera shy. All right. <laughs> Funny enough, yeah. How long did it take you to be okay with your own voice on camera? Dude. Okay, you know, surprisingly, when I was younger, my friend would, had his own YouTube channel. We were like eight and nine. And I never liked my voice on camera since then. Yeah. And I think I just got used to it after maybe a year of doing YouTube. I was going to say, it took me about a full year of editing myself to yeah. be like semi-okay with but it. But does anybody like their own voice on no, camera? No, like, I don't think anyone does. I, don't, I bet Mariah Carey is still like, <laughs> Yeah. I don't like my voice on camera. All right, All right do you think you can handle these last two ports? I don't think so. Honestly, that's like the hard part. Okay. I have to keep filming now because now you might fuck up again and <laughs> it's well, worth it. The anticipation. The cap. Caps all the way down. Yeah, there. the cap at least hit the ground. We gotta measure it. We're gonna go one quart, two quarts. It's uh it takes six point nine, six point nine, sixty nine. So you want I, you want I two the other way. <laughs> so. You want two this way. A uh there should be five quarts in it, so we'll go just down to the three line. It's only filled up to here. Guess what it is, right? It's like chip bags. They're just yeah, right? lying to you. Why do they do that? It's annoying. Because we still buy it. I don't. I protest chips my whole life because of that. Whoa. Yeah, impressive. I love me some Doritos. I'm not gonna. I had Cheetos last night. <laughs> actually, I had a lot of Cheetos. Cheetos actually, I think, fills the bag probably more than most, most people. Yeah. You get like Lay's, and you're just like, oh, well, I'm not gonna get worst. anything. Those are the worst. I sure. think they came out with poppables and things like that just so that they had an excuse. They're like, all right, well, we'll only put 12 chips in the bag still, but the chips will be three times the size. That guy yeah. saw a chart the other day that showed a bunch of brands alike. Chips, popcorn, and stuff. Uh huh. And it showed percentage of bag fill. Nice. And popcorn was like one of the top ones. Yep. It's because it's the same like quantity. It's just a more volume, so it just looks more full. And it gets beat up last. Yeah. Wow. We're going down to three. The thing is, there's three, two threes, and they're different levels. I mean, same measurement. So you'll learn for BMWs. Oh no, it's court and meat. <laughs> okay, never mind. We're I'm on just, fire. I'm just special. Most of the time, we put like a almost a whole extra court in anyway. Why? Race car. Race car life. Uh, Less sloshing and stuff like that. Well, this is not a race car. All right, I'm just gonna put a little extra because I spilled a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so you're good. Chilling. All right, you made it. Now we get to start the car with just headers gonna be crazy. This is what you guys actually came to see. This is what you're paying the big bucks for, aka subscribing is free, so you should be doing that anyway. But here's first start, straight header dump. Check it out. It's gonna be the straight pipes. Yeah. yeah. What's that, like 3,000 RPM? Basically? Yeah. You hear the little pop at the end? Oh, yeah. Dude, cheese spicy. All right, the header is 
it basically shook the whole shop. I, I'm pretty sure it just cut out the mic on the phone, I'm sure. We'll figure out it editing. This is a camera. I don't know why I just called it a phone. Uh, so, got the mid-pipes on. Let's check out a cold start with the mid-pipes now. Yeah, I mean, especially like, look, out of cold start, it's like not bad at all. Yeah. But this is just like normal. Yep, yep. not bad at all. This is just right off the showroom floor. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Just the cats are deleted. Somebody yeah. stole the catalytic converters right in the bottom. Right out of the showroom? Yeah, basically. That's some uh, Dodge energy right there. Literally. All cat energy. All right, so Grant just pulled the car around. He's gonna go for the first drive. I'm 50-50 on if this is actually gonna do anything. Um, obviously, you need a tune when you do this stuff. Grant has some things up his sleeve for the next video, so we're not gonna put a tune on it right now. We're just gonna go rip it and see what happens. Normally, this is, you know, I do some shameless plug about how it seems legit garage sells tunes and you should get a tune for your E46 because you like pops and bangs and going fast. But uh, let's go freeze outside and, yeah, go get some video. Hopefully this thing actually ripping really fast, but we'll see. It's gonna sound good outside, I think, compared to being inside, but holy shit, is it cold in Michigan right now? I think it's, oh, it's gotta be like 30 degrees. We love winter. I should have moved to Florida or Texas or some place, Arizona, I don't know, any place but this, so. All right, he's coming around, so let's check it out. Well, it's definitely loud. Okay, we're back from the outside world of freezing cold. Uh, as you could hear and see, we got a lot of sound, but not quite as much forward motion as we would have liked. So obviously when you do headers and stuff like this, you do need to tune the ECU. Uh, that is a product that we do offer here normally. Uh, you can just check out right on the website. It's just a replacement ECU. You'll get one. You can plug it right into your car. You're good to go. There's a bunch of options, whether you want pops and bangs, rev limiter, EWS delete, a bunch of sweet things for that. Um, make your guess in the comments. We are not doing that for Grants right now. But Grants parking the car. Uh, we're going to take a day off or two, and then he's going to be back towards the end of the week and we're gonna just continue this build series. So Grant has a bunch of things planned for this. Um, you know, he's a TikTok social media influencer. They're fucking famous. I don't know, we're small time YouTube here. So you'll see all of that on his channels as well. You probably already know all of those. I'll link them in the description and stuff like that. All right, stay tuned because we're gonna be back at the end of the week with a bunch more E46 content. So if you love E46s, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.